Hello and welcome to the VizRT booth at NAB 2014. My name is Chris Black and I'm going to show you what we have in store for the show this year. Let's go over here and take a look at the first thing, which is the VizRT social TV solution. Now, what we've done with the social TV solution this year was we're using it on a uh, perceptive pixel touchscreen, and we're able to go in here and really interact with all the different tools and be able to tell what's happening with social media. So we can uh, take a look at uh, social media analytics, we can look at data from Facebook, Twitter, and using the touchscreen interface, you're able to really interact with the content and also moderate what social media content you're displaying on air. So you have control over what is actually being shown live on air. Now, right next to social TV is our news production pod. And this combines interactive content as well as live graphics content. So we're showing VizTrio, our character generator, but we're also showing um, multi-touch interactivity, easy control of video graphics and maps, gesture-based control, and a lot of different visualization tools that allow you to dynamically control your playlist of content live on air. Now next to that, we're showing our weather and maps. Now over here, we are using a uh, touch screen, another touch screen from Microsoft Perceptive Pixel to be able to interact with live weather data. And we're using weather data from all over the world here to be able to show uh, this uh, demonstration that we're showing today. And then next to that, we're showing Viz Weather, which is uh, featuring some hurricane tracking, uh, some uh, real-time weather data from any kind of weather provider, uh, and also being able to show how we can do 3D fly-throughs with uh, the Viz World mapping system. Now, if we move on to another location on the booth, we'll get over to the Media Asset Management System. And the Viz One Media Asset Management System is a tool that broadcasters can use to really monitor and um, maintain all of their media content. So not only uh, video, but also uh, images. And with some of the new tools that we're showing this year includes uh, something called uh, Metagraphics, which is allowing you to edit graphics and add them to a timeline of a piece of video and keep that as metadata so that you can continue editing graphics and video all the way up to the point that it's going on air. And the Viz One system allows you to manage all that video content and the graphics content and really distribute that anywhere you want. And of course, beyond that, we have online and mobile, which is taking all of that same content and placing it online and onto mobile devices. So we're able to do ingest, transcoding, and publishing. Uh, we're able to uh, work with our partner, Scenic, and uh, work with their uh, CMS system and also do some high-speed video branding and graphics insertion. So let's take a look at the other side of the booth now. And we have another live graphics demonstration here, and this is really going in-depth of what we do with Viz Trio. So this is what uh, broadcasters use in their control room, where they have a playlist of content coming from their newsroom system. The journalists can work inside of their NRCS, uh, iNews, uh, EMPS, it doesn't matter, and they can build a playlist of graphic content and then play it back all live on air. If we go on to the back of the booth, one thing that you're going to notice about our booth this year is this massive. This is probably the largest booth we've ever had, and it's multiple stories tall. And back here we have a few of our partners being displayed. Uh, the first one that we have over here is uh, Wolf Tech, and Wolf Tech is showing how people can do field reporting. It's a very nice integration with Viz One to be able to deliver video content from the field in real time. And then next to them is also uh, Big Chili, which is giving you a cloud-based graphics sharing platform. Now just next to that is our video production demo, uh, demo position. And this is showing a uh, complete video production workflow, being able to edit uh, video from some of our partner tools such as uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, um, Avid, and uh, Final Cut Pro 10, and also adding graphics content, pull content from uh, Viz One, and then place all of that content back into Viz One for further use later on in the production cycle. Now, something that we just announced today on the first day of the show is our uh, immersive 4K graphics. And this is pretty cool because what we're showing here is actually we have a uh, 4K monitor. We have a Red One camera with an in-cam tracking system on it. And our camera operator at the top, he's actually panning around the booth and we're able to 
uh, immerse Cletus from Fox Sports into our booth as a real-time 4K immersive element. Let's uh, move on over to uh, system monitoring. Now, our uh, longtime partners, Molden Media, uh, they created a system called uh, VizSecure. And VizSecure is the system monitoring tool that broadcasters can use to monitor the system health of all of their uh, VizRT infrastructure. It helps them uh, with uh, on-air reliability and helps them to uh, do preventative maintenance on all of their systems. So if you have a large VizRT infrastructure, this is a must-have system to make sure that everything is running perfectly all the time. Oh my God. Now right next to them is uh, the data platform with our partners at Stuce Media. These guys uh, specialize in doing uh, live data and turning that data into a visualized form with graphics. So here you can see some uh, stock exchange information. They're pulling in this data live and the graphics are being created in real time from Viz Engine. So again, one of the great things about VizRT is we take data and visualize it in really creative ways very easily. And Astuce Media has done a good job of capturing that capability and creating some nice looking graphics. Now beyond that, we have our channel branding position. Channel branding is of course Viz Multi-Channel and Viz Ticker. And Viz Multi-Channel allows you to take your uh, your, your uh, template-based graphics and publish them to multiple channels. And it gives you actually a real-time preview. It integrates with your automation systems in master control. So it's a single interface for being able to do all your channel branding for all of your channels from a single point. Now, moving on to our next demo position. This is the file-based workflow position. And what we're doing here is really kind of showing a combination of everything. We're showing, uh, doing a multi-platform video, graphics, high-speed branding, uh, using video for mobile devices as well as on air and even online. So it's a nice combination of everything that we do and being able to distribute that to any device or source. Now this next demo position that we have here is one of the uh, most interesting one and the hardest one to get into uh, because it's so popular. This is the what's next demo position. And we have so much news this year that uh, we're having to really cram people in here to show them all the things that VizRT is working on in the future. Uh, we have a uh, IP production platform using the new tech TriCaster and VizTrio com combination. We're showing proxy editing with Adobe Premiere Pro. We're showing our new Viz Multiplay, which is a very nice system for being able to control all of the monitors in your studio from a single interface. You can have your presenters in the studio control your monitors as well as in the uh, control room. So there's a lot of different tools that we're showing in here and it's one of those things that you really need to come by and check out. We'll do a full video on some of the tools that we're showing in here later on so you can really get a good idea of what's happening and what's next with VizRT. So we're back over to near the beginning of the booth and uh, we have a couple more demo positions to take a look at. The first one is real-time graphics and media composition. So of course VizRT uh, really excels at real-time graphics. And what we're doing here is showing that capability uh, in HD and also 4K. So we were one of the first people to be able to do real-time 4K graphics in a live production. And we're showing that capability right here on the VizRT booth. Now right next to that is our studio automation uh, section. Now VizRT recently acquired Mozart and we've combined now to create Viz Mozart, which is a high-powered studio automation system that's software-based and really allows the control room to be uh, controlled from a single interface. So we're able to uh, use this software-based solution to uh, do complex or simplified execution of complex broadcasts, synchronizing switchers, graphics, video, audio, camera robotics, and all of this integrated with VizRT graphics platform. Over here, we're actually in what we call the sports bar. The sports bar com combines all of our sports production tools into one place so that you can take a look at what we can do to help you with any of your sports production. We have sports analysis tools with Viz Libro. We have a virtual sports graphics, which places graphics on the, uh, the pitch 
and actually the new Viz, uh, Viz Arena software allows you to tie graphics directly to the field without having any kind of uh, hardware. So it's giving you an image-based tracking system that's very quick and easy to set up. The other thing that we're featuring is our World Cup package, which allows you to go in here and interact with World Cup content. And this is being provided to broadcasters all over the country and all over the world to help them with their World Cup coverage. And this is a combination of using the VizRT graphics tools as well as VizRT's analysis tools. And then finally, we're at the control room, which is the control room is controlling the Viz Virtual Studio, the VizRT public show. So for the control room, we're actually using the Vizmos, our studio automation system, to drive the entire live broadcast, as well as VizTrio for our 3D graphics. So we're able to show uh, how we're able to make an entire broadcast using Viz Virtual Studio software, uh, showing different kinds of studio automation tools, also showing different kinds of tracking systems so that we can immerse objects into the studio. Now finally we're back here in the Viz Virtual Studio where we're hosting the public show every half hour. Now the public show is consisting of us showing all the powerful tools that the Virtual Studio software can offer broadcasters and showing them how they can enhance their broadcast. And one of the things that we're doing is is showing tracking objects. So I have this tracking object that I'm showing here. I'm using an emotion analysis tracking system, and we're actually able to see this immersed within the virtual studio live on air, and everybody loves to come and see it. So thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the VizRT booth, and we'll see you at the next trade show.